Welcome back to the Rye House Kart Raceway as we continue our coverage of the 2013 London Cup, one of the most prestigious events on the British karting calendar. We're all set for the Honda Cadet Final, which sees Mark Kimber and Matthew Hayden qualifying on the front row. Harry Thompson and Axel Laflamme will start on row two, with Kian Dewis and Alfie Haralambus completing the top six. Over to our commentator, Chris Hartley, for race highlights. We're all set then for 13 laps of the Grower Freeman Solicitors Honda Cadet Final here at Rye House. The rolling start about to get underway. The green colour scheme, it's Mark Kimber that will lead them away from pole position. They storm down towards Stadium for the first time then. And into the first corner they go. And slipping wide from the outside of the front row with the onboard camera there. He's lost three or four places. Number 68, Matthew Hayden, who was stuck out on the outside line. So in a second place has come Harry Thompson from third on the grid. They're still jostling for position here. He's lost the, that position and further back contact here. Two qualifiers from the B final, Oliver Behrman spins and Kieran Jamey crashing into him. So those two will try and get going again. So let's sort the front runners out. It's still Mark Kimber that leads the way up into second place has come the number one card of Kian Dewis from fifth on the grid. Harry Thompson was briefly second. He's down to third place now. And then with the red suit and the yellow helmet running in fourth place, Lachlan Behrman in cart number 36. And look at that little bit of contact there between them as they jostle for position and a change of lead here as the British Championship leader becomes the leader here of the London Cup. He moves ahead then into first place. Harry Thompson followed him through. And so from first to third in one fell swoop goes the number 13 cart of Mark Kimber. Mark who is currently running fourth in the Super 1 British Championship, so he's used to racing against Kian Dewis. So a new leader here from fifth to first, a very good start to this race uh, for Kian Dewis. Harry Thompson back into second place. They make their way through the left-hander at Pylon on the way into the right-hander at Complex Nouvelle. And then it's through the S's, just a little kiss of the curbs there. And the race leader has got a train of six or seven carts breathing down his neck. They're not really separated, are they? And look at this, a little bit of jostling further back. That was number 59 with contact there. Axel Laflamme getting put in his place by number 36, Lachlan Behrman, who covers across the line. This is a replay from just behind with Matthew Hayden. There's a little bit of contact, but they both survived. Hayden trying to get back up the order, having slipped back further into the top six, having qualified, of course, second for the final. Here is the race leader, number one, Kian Dewitt, number 27. Harry Thompson on his tail, on board now with Matthew Hayden, who also races in the Super 1 British Championship. He gets at the inside of La Flamme on the way into the second hairpin and picks up a play. So that's him now, number 68, with the on-board back up into fifth position. The top 12 carts still covered by just a few seconds here. The race leader, been in the leader for a couple of laps now, Kieran Dewis. Harry Thompson on his tail, back up to third position. We've got the pole position driver, uh, Mark Kimber, the Solihull base driver, then in fourth place. Uh, with the yellow helmet, Lachlan Behrman, number 36. A little bit wide there from the third place cart of Kimber, but he hangs on to it. They're pushing the tyres now. They'll be fully up to temperature on a hot day like this. The grip will come very easily to them. The problem might be that the tyres might get a little bit too grippy, a little bit too hot towards the end of the race and start to go off. No problems at the moment. The top seven look together here. Nice and smooth, though, from the race leader. Third in the British Championship last year. Leading it this year. Through they all come. Lots of battles further back inside that top 10 as well. So running in the top 10, you've got the likes of Alfie Aralambus and uh, Matthew Hopcraft. It's a battle further back between 55 Evan Cook and 45 Evan Newsham, who came through from the B final. He's the race leading group. There is Matthew Hayden, number 68, with the onboard camera. Looking, running over the curbs here, trying to get onto the tail of Lachlan Behrman, who in turn is trying to get onto the tail of Kimba. They all squeeze up on the way into the hairpin. There's contact, two make contact. One runs wide, and I think Harry Thompson, who was at the head of that group, has been sent off the track and into a spin from second place. So Behrman up to second. Here's a replay. Look at this. They all try to squeeze up the inside. Second place, 27, Harry Thompson there. He's on the outside line, and uh, three didn't fit into one. Here's another replay from a different angle. He may have left the door slightly ajar, but I think he'll be aggrieved at the way he got pushed off the circuit there. He's rejoined, but he's in the middle of the field now. So that's given the race leader, Kian Dewis, a bit of an advantage. A couple of cart lengths over the new second place cart. There it is, number 36, Lachlan Behrman. And breathing down his neck with the onboard camera in third place is Matthew Hayden now. Running into stadium here, absolutely nose to tail. Just behind them in fourth place, we've now got Nicholas Reeve, number 42. Further back, there's that battle still going on between Newsham and Cook just trying to break inside the top 20. And there's the rest of the top 10. Also in the top 10 there, you've got number 18, which is Danny Harrison having a little battle there with number 21, who you heard from earlier on, Luke Whitehead. So 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th, not too far away from this top six group. And there is the leaders now. They've caught him back up, haven't they? Kieran Dewis here has uh, only got a couple of inches advantage now rather than a couple of cart lengths. 
There's the number 50 of Alfie Haralambus on the Octane chassis. And uh, looking ahead now at this uh, second place cart here being driven by Lachlan Behrman, the Project One. The door opens up and through with the onboard camera comes Matthew Hayden, puts the BRK into that gap and goes into second place. So there he is, the green and white colour scheme into second position on the tail of Kian Dewis, the race leader, and literally onto his rear bumper now as they go towards the outfield hairpin. Turn right through there. He cannot leave any kind of gap on the way to those hairpins or it invites trouble. I've just got a little gap back now to Behrman in third place. It looks to me as though Axel Laflamme has got back up into fourth position with Nicholas Reeve still up in the top five. Any one of the five or six in that league group still capable of winning this race. But there is Kian Dewis. Look, leads them towards stadium corner. Matthew Hayden back up to where he started now in second place. There's the number 32 of Nicholas Reeve, the Romford base driver, who's also leading the Kent Kart Championships coming into this event this weekend. Nose to tell for the top two, nose to tell for second and third as well as Behrman gives a little tap on the shoulder to Hayden. And now he's going to have to cover his line on the way into the second half, and he loses third place. So up into third position now comes number 59, Axel Laflamme. He's doing a good job here. It's still side, side by side between them. There's still this huge battle going on with uh, Newsham and Cook joined by Aston Wigley and Theo Pasto now. So really good scrap between four of them further back down the order. All of them enjoying themselves here at the London Cup at Rye House. This is the battle for the lead of the race, though, and Matthew Hayden's got a good toe here. He's got the inside line through stadium, and for the first time in the race, Matthew Hayden goes into first position. So down to second goes Kieran Dewis, and they're in third position. Axel Laflamme has got ahead now of Behrman. So Behrman, Lachlan Behrman down into fifth place at the tail of that group in sixth place. is the pole position driver, Mark Kimber, and they're seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, all having their battle. Matthew Hopcraft. Number 10 in the middle of that, leading the Shennington Kart Club Championships. So, equally good scrap going on there. If they could just get onto the tail of these six carts, they could battle for a podium place as well. Through they all come then. Line stern to start what's going to be another lap here. Little glance over the shoulder for Kian Dewis in second place. He goes for a move, a little bit of contact there, wheel to wheel, but he's forced his way through, and Matthew Hayden loses another two places as a result of that. So, Laflamme has come up to second, into third place is Behrman, and from first to fourth uh, goes the former race leader, Matthew Hayden. There's a bit of contact further back in the corner of my eye as well for fifth place, but Kimber has come through to fifth now. So that means that down into sixth position has gone Nicholas Reeve, number 32. Back on board with Matthew Hayden. He's been in every single position in the top six now, I think. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Through they come then, ready to start another lap. We're running out of time now for everybody else to try and get through. Kian Dewis looking nervously left then right to try and defend on the way to stadium. But there's a change for second. Behrman comes through with the onboard. Matt Hayden has uh, snuck through as well. So he's to third and down to fourth place has gone Axel Leflom. Contact there between the top two on the way into the happy. Just a gentle nudge. But having to try and attack and defend at the same time is Lachlan Behrman there. Number 36, Carter's Matt Hayden runs wide on the way out of the outfield hairpin. And he's going to lose third place back to Leflon. Still side by side in this interesting little tussle we've got between number 45, Ethan Newsham. He moves now ahead of Evan Cut, number 55. Just on the fringes of the top 20. Here into the first corner at Stadium, then come the top two, and suddenly they've got a little gap back to third, which is about to change because with the onboard, Matt Hayden sneaks back through ahead of Axel Leflamme. He's got to try and make up three or four cart lengths here. There's not too much time to go in the race, but if these two keep fighting each other and holding each other up through the corners, then I think he'll be able to do it with not too much problem. And the rest of them will do well to follow him now. He's got his head down, he's trying to catch them up. There's battle going on, still with 45 Ethan Newsham holding station on the way through the hairpins. Here we go then, first, second and third now, all together, not too far behind them in fourth place. Back to fourth has come Nicholas Reeve, glancing over the shoulder then, looking into stadium corner. Is there going to be a change of lead? Not there, Behrman still in second. Matthew Hayden is right onto his rear bumper now as they head towards the left-hand hairpin. They both take a very defensive line on the way into the left-hander, so there's no way through there for Hayden. Nicholas Reeve is trying to get onto the podium there in fourth place as well. Less than half a lap to go now. Now Matthew Hayden has stuck at the inside, he's gone from third to first. It's all changed with half a lap to go. Here's a replay on board with Matthew. What happened? They were all absolutely together and the top two ran wide. Maybe a little bit of contact between all three of them. And Hayden has gone through into the lead of the race. Nicholas Reeve trying to be in second place, but Kian Dewis closes the door and just about hangs on to that position. 
glancing over the shoulder then. Matt Hayden, for the first time in a while, leads the race and he's nearly home and dry here. Who is going to finish second and third? They come through to take the checkered flag. Matthew Hayden is victorious here. Ken Jewis is second and Nicholas Reeve will join them as the other driver on the podium. Confirmation of the results. Matthew Hayden wins the race by just two tenths of a second from Kian Jewis, while Nicholas Reeve joins them on the podium. Axel Laflamme, Lockie and Beerman, and Danny Harrison complete the top six. I weren't really expecting it, but them, uh, them two had a coming together, and I just slipped up the inside and got into the lead, and then just held it to the finish line. I was right behind them the whole way until last lap. I got to the front and won it. Oh, it feels brilliant. Oh, I'm over the moon. Congratulations then to our London Cup champion in Honda Cadets, Matthew Hayden. He takes the spoils after a dramatic race with Kian Jewis to the right and Nicholas Reeve on the left just missing out. We'll be back with more top-level kart racing after the break.